Mm, how good does this look, right? I'm going to show you how I make the most delicious, rich, delicious hot chocolate. Well, this is my favorite hot chocolate brand, but if you can't find this, you can always put cacao powder and some xylitol and things like that. I believe it'll work similarly. You can look at this and you go, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just use similar type of ingredients. I like to use this one as well, just because it's so creamy and has a different taste. Oh my god, this is so rich. When you cut it up and put it in the chocolate, this is so good. Chop this up so that it's easier to break, you know, like... And that it looks nice on camera for some reason. <laughs> Usually I just chuck this entire thing, but because I'm filming a video, it looks nicer like this. <laughs> what I do is I get a bowl and put all the stuff in. This is going to take a while. Gonna grab a big spoonful and a half. Yep. Yes. That looks great, doesn't it? A dash of vanilla. Just gonna add the milk in. Let it cook. I have it on here so yeah they all say don't let it boil don't let it boil so keep that in mind <laughs> yeah I forgot to mention my sugar-free marshmallows that is totally what I'm gonna add at the end just whisk it a bit 10 minutes later yeah now it's getting a bit heated up whoa yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pour some of this in this bowl and then put it back here yep what am i doing you might ask ask what am i doing what am i doing well i'm muxing this so that it actually becomes a thick paste it makes it so much easier when you put it in i swear okay. now we are going to put all of this in the mix jar Whoa. Yes, yes, and you know, it's like, that's how I kind of make sure I don't waste too much. We're pretty good with this, and we're going to whisk it again. And just wait for everything to kind of come together. Ooh. I feel like I'm beating an egg. <laughs> I would actually use my coffee machine to froth the milk if I could, but unfortunately it is broken. So, yep, this is the pot is my best friend right now. <laughs> Turn the stove down to like halfway point, kind of just to make sure it doesn't boil too much, like burn. And I'm just going to keep whisking it because it's chunks of chocolate that still needs to melt at the back or the bottom, <laughs> I should say. Once it becomes thick in a certain way, it's good. You can turn it off. So it just really depends on the kind of consistency you want. Right now, this is good enough for me, so I'm going to pour it all in. Okay. There we go. And we're going to Put another two because they all melt quickly, so you want to have the experience, right? So, I'm trying to make it perfect so I can take the perfect picture. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. Now, this, my friends, is so good. Are you ready for the taste test? Because can't have a chocolate hot chocolate recipe without a taste test, right? Mm. Oh. Wow, this is seriously like the best tasting, thick, rich, hot chocolate you could ever imagine. This is so good. It's like a little bit of 
like that bittersweet chocolate taste, the rich. Ah, oh, this is so good. Ah. Oh. Please bake this. It's so good. Ah. <laughs> I'm just going to drink my hot chocolate while I chat for a bit. Mm. This is really good. Like this is probably the best I've made so far and it's like, yeah, I got I managed to capture on camera the best one that I made. How cool is that? How oh, it's a bit hot. It's a bit Something just fell. <laughs> but I always fell. <laughs> that was not impended. I did not plan that to, ha to happen. Mm. This is so good. I just want to save it every moment. I just want to know how you're doing. How is everyone doing? I started to look into like hot chocolate recipes when my coffee machine broke because I was enjoying my morning coffee every day and then like all of a sudden when the coffee machine broke which we don't know why yet so we're gonna wait still in warranty so you know we, we've we'll get it back soon and then hopefully we'll find out what's wrong with it but yeah so we I thought you know I need something really nice in the morning because it fills me for so long I don't have to like overeat so hot chocolate is my second favorite thing I mean Hot chocolate and coffee are both my favorite, I guess. <laughs> mm. oh, so good. Every time I taste it, I'm like, yes. Because I've had hot chocolate. I've made hot chocolate before that doesn't taste nearly as good. This is like the best one so far. I swear, this is so good. Seriously. You totally need to try this. I know not everyone's gonna have the same brand of hot chocolate sugar free, but I'm sure you can find something in the health store or... I just like sugar free stuff because I've read a lot of things that sugar does to the body and so far both me and my wife agrees that um, sugar free, sugar alcohol at least, I know it does give you a runny belly sometimes if you have too much and sometimes people can have bad effects and gives you gas and things, but it doesn't cause a lot of the teeth problems and other issues so I tend to lean towards sugar free stuff like the sugar alcohols that I really like so yeah and it tastes just like the real thing so yeah I know whenever I drink one of this afterwards I'll be farting all night <laughs> just wanted to give you a glimpse of what the hot chocolate looks like now that I've drank like two-thirds of it or I should say half of it, maybe. Yummy. Ooh.